this is the autosave app center. Uh, this collects all the various autosave apps in uh, one location. The main one is the network client here and I have it minimized down below. So this is the main autosave interface. Over on the left, you have your directory tree and you build that out as, as it makes sense to you. Typically it reflects the layout of the plant. But when you wanna work with the program, you find it in the tree and double click it. This is a Schneider control expert program, but it'll open up a tab down at the bottom with the program name. And then each program will have its own uh, revision history attached to it. And as you can see, each revision's got the date time stamp, the logged in user, the client computer they were on, the operation they performed and whatever comment they enter in. If you wanna make a change, create a new revision, um, you would click the rocket icon at the bottom, which is launch, which I will do. And we can see in the upper right, a program lock was put on the program. So it'll be read only for everybody else until I'm done. And it's now pulling down that latest revision from the server down to my computer, and it's gonna open up the editor. Again, in this case, control expert. And once it does come up, then you make your changes like you always have, um, as if autosave wasn't there. And I will make a quick change, but you can make as many changes as you'd like. I will just delete a contact. And when you're done with your changes, just click save. And when it's through saving, just exit out of the editor. And as the editor is closing, you will be prompted for a revision comment. So enter in what you did. I deleted. And so now when I click OK, we'll see the program lock get removed and we'll see revision 47 get created. So OK. There goes the lock. And there's 47. And for any revision that you have in your history, you can right click and you can compare that to what's running in the, in the device, or you can compare any one revision to any other. Uh, so I'll go ahead and compare 47 to 46 and we should see the change I just made. So, okay. And in the case of uh, Control Expert or Unity, um, we utilize the Unity Diff program to run the compares. So it's running Unity Diff and then it'll present a report at the end um, with the results. And so here's our report, and it shows we compared revision 47 to 46, and you'll have a link to see the differences. And again, this is utilized in Unity Diff. So if we scroll down, we should see the difference highlighted. There it is in green, it looks like. And then go down further, and you can see there's the contact I deleted. And the same process as far as doing a launch and creating new revisions and running compares, it's, it's pretty much the same if, whether you're running Schneider, Rockwell, Siemens, Mitsubishi, um, the same general concept is the same. Um, I wanted to show an example. Here's a Siemens step seven where you can see we have differences and I'll click and we can see a ladder difference. 
Um, the day I also change the data block so you can see that uh, how that'll show up. I also have an in touch. So here's uh, an example. You can see we compared uh, a tag value. You can see the highlighted difference. Uh, you can see an application script difference. And then lastly, you can see the actual window difference. And I'll go back full screen so we can see that better. Um, so the details are highlighted down below, but you can get a quick just visual look just from the pictures at the top. And those are, um, you can enlarge those as well. And the last thing I will show is our autosave portal or dashboard view. And this is our, our web-based um, new, new feature with uh, our latest release. And it's configurable by user. And I'll just quickly go through uh, here the pie chart. You can see um, it's the summary over the last 24 hours with compare differences and no differences and errors. And for each one of the, the wedges, you can click on it. So if I want to see all the differences, you can click on that. And then this will list all of your compare reports that ran that had differences. And you can see you know, what time they ran. You can click and drill down and view the actual report. There's also going back to the main dashboard. Uh, you can also see trending data. I just did a refresh. But you can see trending data up here. You can see recent activity. Um, you can add in any um, custom links or you know personal internal links that you may have. Um, you can add in any URLs. So again, any website or if you have a webcam. The here's an example of a webcam in Sydney, Australia. Just as an example, if you have any in your facility, you can just paste a URL in and and have that. Um, and you can access this through your phone or wherever. And so with that, that's about it. Um, please contact us if you'd like to see a more detailed demo or if you have any questions in general. Thanks.